Good morning, Green Class. Hope you're well and that you're enjoying lots of fun time at home with your grown-ups. Um, I just wanted to say good morning this morning at the start of this new summer term. Lovely to see the sun is shining. And although we can't be together in the classroom right now, looking forward to find out all the fun things that you've been up to through our class blog. Um, what have I been up to here during the holidays? Well, it's been quite busy. Not a lot of quiet time. I've been trying to do some of those jobs I keep putting off all the time, some of those sorting and cleaning jobs I don't particularly like doing. Um, we've also been having fun because we've set some family challenges. So we've been doing things like drawing competitions and we've been planting lots of seeds and doing seed growing competitions. I'm afraid I'm not doing very well at that one. I kind of keep forgetting to water them until Isla reminds me that's what I need to go and do. Uh, we've also been doing a baking competition, which was interesting. I'm not sure I quite like the tidying up the kitchen mess afterwards, but we've had lots of yummy treats going on as well. And we've been sharing those with lots of members of our family through um, putting our photos on, um, on group chats for them all to see and having winners and things. So it's all just been a little bit of fun. I hope you're being very good at home, helping out lots, and remembering to have lots of special time with your families as well. So, this term, we are starting a brand new topic, and Mrs Cotton and I have been thinking lots and lots about things that we think that you'll be able to do at home. You might need to be a little bit creative in how you do it, but that's what we love about you, Year 3. You know how to be creative. So, our topic for this half term is called The Romans. Now you might have some information about the Romans at home already. I looked on my bookshelf and I managed to find some different books. I've got one all about the Romans just there. I don't know if you can see that. Sunshine's shining on my camera. I've also got a horrible histories I've managed to find and a gruesome truth about the Romans. So I'm pretty sure if you have a look around, you might actually be able to find a few books of your own. If not, don't worry, because on our home learning page every week, we will be putting any information we think that you might need to help you. Um, just a little bit about this week, just to get us started. We would really, really like to know what you already know about the Romans, and also what type of thing you would like to find out. So one of your challenges this week is to do us a, a little bit of a topic web, if you like, with things you already know and the things that you would like to know too by the end of this topic. Uh, two other challenges I've set you this week. One of them is to start to make a timeline. I just wanted to explain that a little bit to you because if we were able to be at school and we'd be in the classroom, I would be setting up a nice line all around the top of the classroom where we could put lots of dates of key important things that have happened just so you can get an idea of where in history the Romans fit. Um, obviously, we can't do that in the classroom, but I would like you to have a try at doing that at home. There are lots of ways you can do that. I don't know, maybe your grown-ups have got an old roll of um, wallpaper and you can roll that out and start to do it on that. You can do it on a piece of paper, um, in, your, in a book if you've got a book. It's also quite nice, though, if you can do it so that you can move things around. So when I was thinking about this, I thought maybe if you've got a piece of string or a bit of wool and some pegs, you could maybe ask your grown-up to help string it up for you. And then you could either do some pictures or write yourself some information or just the key dates and peg them along the old line, a bit like a washing line or a piece of bunting. And then as we add new things over the next few weeks, you'll be able to move things around and add some more things on. The other challenge I would like for you this week is one I think you're going to enjoy, knowing the mess that Year 3 like to make when they get make model making in the classroom, I think this is going to be a good one for you. We would like you to have a go at designing your own shield this week, um, as a Roman might have used in a Roman army. Okay, If you've got some siblings, get them to help you. If you've got some grown-ups at home and they've got some time and they're not working, see if you can do it as a family project. But please, please remember to upload some photos onto Purple Mash so that we can see them. Mrs Cotton and I will be checking regularly to see what you're up to. And of course, ask us any questions if there's anything you need to. Have fun, Green Class. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.